Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Monday, May the 7th. It's the sixth week of Easter and week five of the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 77, and Leviticus 25, verse 35 to 55. And join me now in singing the second verse of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. Say to the power that shakes the sky, how terrible you are, sinners before your presence fly, or at your feet they bow. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, I cried aloud to you and you heard me. In the day of my distress, I sought you. Alleluia, Psalm 77. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, I cried aloud to you and you heard me. In the day of my distress, I sought you. I stretched out my arms in the night, and my soul refused to be comforted. I remembered you and was troubled. I complained, and my spirit was overwhelmed. You will not let my eyelids close. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I remember my song in the night. I commune with my own heart, and my spirit searched diligently. Will you cast us off forever? Will you favor us no more? Is your love gone forever? Does your promise fail? Have you forgotten to be gracious? Have you withheld your tender mercies in anger? I said, this is my grief, but I will remember the years when your right hand was strong. I will remember your works. I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate on all your works and tell of your mighty acts. Your way, O God, is holy. Who is so great a God as you? You are the God that does wonders. You have declared your strength among the people. You have redeemed your people, the children of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. The waters saw you, O God, the waters saw you. They were afraid, and the depths trembled. The clouds rained, and the skies thundered, and your lightning flashed. Your voice was in the heavens, your lightning illumined the world, and the earth trembled and shook. Your way is in the sea, and your path is in the great waters, yet your footsteps are not seen, and you lead your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I cried aloud to you, and you heard me. Alleluia. A reading from Leviticus, chapter 25, beginning at verse 35. If any of your kin fall into difficulty and become dependent on you, you shall support them. They shall live with you as though resident aliens. Do not take interest in advance or otherwise make a profit from them, but fear your God. Let them live with you. You shall not lend your money at interest taken in advance or provide them food at a profit. I am Yahweh, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to give you the land of Canaan to be your God. If any who are dependent on you become so impoverished that they sell themselves to you, you shall not make them serve as slaves. They shall remain with you as hired or bound laborers. They shall serve with you until the year of the Jubilee. Then they and their children with them shall be free from your authority. They shall go back to their own family and return to their ancestral property. For they are my servants, whom I brought out of the land of Egypt. They shall not be sold as slaves. 
are sold. You shall not rule over them with harshness, but shall fear your God. As for the male and female slaves whom you may have, it is from the nations around you that you may acquire male and female slaves. You may also acquire them from among the aliens residing with you and from their families that are with you, who have been born in your land and they may be your property. You may keep them as a possession for your children after you, for them to inherit as property. These you may treat as slaves, but as for your fellow Israelites, no one shall rule over the other with harshness. If resident aliens among you prosper, and if any of your kin fall into difficulty with one of them, and sell themselves to an alien or to a branch of the alien's family, after they have sold themselves, they shall have the right of redemption. One of their brothers may redeem them, or their uncle, or their uncle's son may redeem them, or any one of their family who is of their own flesh may redeem them, or if they prosper, they may redeem themselves. They shall compute with the purchaser the total from the year when they sold themselves until the jubilee year. The price of the sale shall be applied to the number of years. The time they were with the owner shall be rated as the time of a hired laborer. If many make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment, let your way be known upon the earth, your saving help among all nations, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Hear us in the days of our distress, O God of wonder and might. Remember your promises of old and grant us your compassion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.